بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الکریم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ویلکم یو آل ان اور اسلامک اسٹڈیز کلاس دس از یور سبجیکٹ ٹیچرس اینڈ دس از یور اسلامک اسٹڈیز بک ایز یو کین سی اسلامک ایجوکیشن سیریز ون ٹو ٹین اینڈ اٹ از بک تھری فور کلاس تھری Today we are going to start a new unit with a good manners and morals. And the lesson number three, good character. Husnul khuluq. Or you can also say husnul ikhlaq. Let's start this with dua. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani. یفقہ قولی رب زدنی علم اوکے چلڈرن ایز یو نو دا گڈ مینرز آل آف یو نو دیٹ واٹ آر دا مینرز مینرز آف ٹاکنگ مینرز آف ایٹنگ وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ دا مینرز آف ایٹنگ ان اسلام مینر آف ٹیکنگ بات ان اسلام اینڈ مینرز آف ٹاکنگ ایوری تھنگ اسلام ٹیچز اس گڈ مینرز اینڈ Islam teaches us good manners about all our behavior, all our character. Today, in this lesson, we are going to study about the good character, how one can attain a good character, and what is the importance of character in our life, in our, you can say, worldly life, and also in Islam, what is the importance of character. It is the main thing. for a person for build a good personality character is the most most and most important thing ikhlaq means husnul ikhlaq good character husnul ikhlaq let's see this is from the quran surah an-nisa this is the ayah let's read hasbillah min shaitanir rajim inna allaha ya'murukum an to whom they are due and that when you judge between people you judge with justice excellent is that which allah instructs you indeed allah is ever hearing and seeing look in this ayah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us order us to return the if you have some trust of people if you have something that people give you to keep with you you have to return them the same person and when you are uh, as a judge doing uh, the judgment with the justice and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sa- uh, said excellent is that which allah instruct you it is the best thing which allah is telling you and allah is ever hearing and seeing allah knows everything allah seeing everything so always be aware always think that allah is here allah is watching us allah is listening us if someone is not around you but allah is here allah is always with you whatever you are saying whatever you are doing even whatever you are thinking allah knows everything so you should become a good muslim let's start reading islam encourages muslims to have good character so a muslim should develop his moral character so it's a duty of a muslim of a good muslim to develop his character mean his personality his behavior muslim should build a good character 
a true Muslim always maintains good character because good character is a part of one's faith, means it's a part of Iman that one Muslim should be a good, should keep good character. This is the part of Iman, part of faith that Muslim always maintains good character. By nature, uh, he should be good. He thinks positive and he shows uh, good things to other people. He make others happy. He uh, does not do things to hurt the feelings of others. So Islam teaches us all the things of behaving in the society. Pity is the essence of good character. Pity is the essence of good character. What is the meaning of pity? Do you know? It means you should be humble. And when you talk to someone or if you see someone in trouble, you should feel sorry and you should try to help. You can also say there, pity is the uh, religiousness that you feel uh, good for other people and you feel like helping them. If someone in trouble, then you should help them. So this is called pity. A good Muslim fulfills his promises. Look, the first quality of a good character that a Muslim fulfills his promises. Whenever you promise someone, then you have to fulfill it. He is true to his word. It means he always speaks truth. He judges people with justice. He do not do any favor to, uh, if, uh, suppose there are fighting between two people. So if you are the judge, then you think that the that person on right side is my friend, so I should favor him. No, it's wrong. You should show the justice that what is right. You should always follow that what is right. Favoritism is very wrong. It's not a part of good character. So when a good Muslim judges people, he should judge with justice. He preserves the trust of people. Means he takes care if someone, if some people give uh, something to keep safely, then he preserves. Thus he wins the hearts of others through a high degree of integrity. Look, if a good Muslim having a good character, then he wins the hearts of others. Allah observes all our actions. As I told you that Allah is Samiyam Basira, that he can observe everything, he can listen, he is observing us, he is listening us, he knows everything about us. He sees what we do, how we feel, and how we act. Allah knows everything. He will reward those who follow his instructions, who obey him, then he will reward him and put them into practice. Understand children, that's a lesson about the good character. Um, in, in this is the about the Islamic view, but in general, people who are considered to have a good character often, often have a behavior like uh, integrity, honesty, courage, loyalty, fortitude, and other important virtues that promote good character in our worldly life. If we forget the religious, the Islamic views in behave in a society when where we are living, we should show the good character. Even in the other countries which are not Muslims, a good character has a great importance. But as you know that our religion, Islam, is the so, so, so beautiful religion. And it tells us everything, every single thing, that what should we do? How should we pray to Allah? Then how should we behave with our brothers and sisters? How we live in this world? Islam tells us each and everything. 
uh, and you know a, a person with good character always does the right things because they believe that it is the right thing to do they do not do anything wrong also you know that when the persons with good character they uh, judge by their the good people you know the good people always judge by their character if their character is good then they mark as the wonderful personality and it is also beneficial for you to have a good character if uh, you are uh, being uh, honorable and honest in your workplaces then your relations with others are essential in your life your good character also provides you benefits in your personal life and you can enhance your grades if you show the good character then everyone loves you do you know children if you behave well if you speak politely if you are friend friendly with other people then you will consider a good person everyone likes to be friend with you let's see what we have look about the character we have a lot of ayat in the quran and we have many sayings of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam few of them i mentioned here for you let's see what prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the best among you are those who have the best manners and characters look you know that what is the meaning of best it means the best of all in all your society in whole world who is the best who has the best manners and best characters even not uh, the that person is a good who has a lot of money or who has a good uh, house who has a beautiful car no the best among you are those who have the best manners even he is poor but if his manners are good his character is good then he is considered best in all of you again look here the same thing prophet muhammad said sallallahu alaihi wasallam the best of you are the best in character look again the word best who is best who has the good character prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said again nothing is placed on the scale that is heavier than good character look at the day of judgment when we all present in front of allah and our deeds are measuring there that uh, have, had we did the good deeds or the bad deeds so there is a scale for measuring our deeds so which one is the heavier good character again prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said by his good character a believer will attain the degree of one who prays during the night and fasts during the day look the good character has a degree same as if someone prays wakes up at night and prays whole night and fast during the day so he is same as the person with a good character because worshiping allah and behaving with the people they are most important thing our behavior with the people with the people in the world is the most countable thing in front of allah that how our character character means how we show our personality in front of others how we talk to others how we behave how we help others this is all comes under the word of character that how you feel that how you think what is your thinking it must be right your thinking must not be wrong that you think uh, i have so much money and i'm proud of it and i don't like this girl because or i don't like this boy because he, he uh, does not have any good 
clothes and good car and good money i will not be his or her friend no it's it is not a good character good character is that you should be the friend of all the good persons and you should be away from the bad persons look again a mu'min means a true muslim is recognized by his good character understand again say this is also the saying of prophet muhammad those i love most and those sitting nearest to me on the day of rising it means day of judgment when we all rise again after death we rise again to present in front of allah so uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i love most and those sitting nearest to me on the day of rising will be those of you with the best character look how many ahadees we have about the good character about our good behavior so children be careful about your behavior with your parents with your brother sisters with your friends with your schoolmates with your teachers you should be polite and modest understand it means very simple polite and friendly don't do the bad things don't do don't fight to anyone don't say bad words and always respect your parents your teachers always obey what they are saying if they are saying sleep early at night then you should follow their instructions don't ever talk loudly in front of your parents if you respect your parents then you will have a good character and again uh this is also the hadith what is most most likely to send people to paradise means to jannah being conscious of allah and good manners look being conscious to allah means obey allah pray five times daily and respect the orders of allah and having a good manners so he will be sent to paradise it's it's nothing difficult to attain a good character to get a good character it is not impossible it's very easy just promise yourself that you should speak politely you should not fight with your siblings with your brother sisters you should not speak loudly to your parents you should listen to them it's very easy children if you follow the instructions of your parents if they say stop playing then you should stop playing there is nothing impossible it's very easy if you start listening to them then this will make your life very beautiful your parents become happy with you then they will give you gifts they will love you more just start trying this from today that you should listen your parents and you should not speak loudly and you should not fight with your brothers and sisters and do not say bad things do not do bad things and do not say bad words and speaks the truth there are small things that if you do then you will have a good character always speaks the truth always obey your parents and always speaks politely do not say bad words these are the important things to get a good characters we can also see here how to attain good character be sincere in asking allah look this is the most don't ever forget asking things to allah if you need anything you should ask allah so be sincere and be regular in asking allah to give you good character when you pray five times daily then always make dua day and night that allah give you good character then you see you will be a good person be patient and keep trying fight your nafs nafs means inside feelings sometimes your mother's saying you something and your inside feelings telling you that don't do this don't listen to your parents but it's wrong don't do you should fight with this and listen your parents leave lying it means always speak truth stop 
saying bad words and stop living in bad environments. Surround yourselves with people of good character. Make dua that Allah brings righteous people in, righteous people on your path. Understand, children, you promise me all of you will become a good, inshallah. You will have a good personality when you become elder, then everyone loves you. Okay, children? That's about the good character. Then we have exercise. What is the importance of good character in Islam? How should a Muslim deal with others? What are the benefits of having good character? Let's start writing. What is the importance of good character in Islam? Good character is a part of faith in Islam. As I told you, faith means Iman. It is the part of Iman. Write these question answers in your notebooks. How should a Muslim deal with other? A Muslim should fulfill his promises and should not lie to others. The most important thing should not lie. It brings so many troubles in your life when you start lying to your people surrounds you, to your parents. If you start lying, if you do not speak truth, then it will bring, bring so much difficulties in your lives. So don't, don't speak lie, always speak truth. What are the benefits of having good character? A Muslim with good character who wins heart of others, look, a Muslim with good character who wins heart of others and will be rewarded by Allah. Allah becomes happy and his, you will get his blessings. Then we have fill in the blanks, look, by showing this hand, good character means truthfulness in your personality, honesty, courtesy, and modesty. You should be simple, polite, honest, and always speak truth. These are the main points to get a good character. Okay, fill in the blanks. Allah dash all our actions. Allah observes. A good Muslim fulfills his promises. Muslims are encouraged to have good character. Good character wins the hearts of others. Pity is the essence of good characters. Start learning from today these question answers, fill in the blanks and Always keep in your mind what I'm saying and follow this. Then you will be a good boy or a good girl. Okay, children. I hope you all understood and you all become a good student and good children. You should obey your parents and then you will develop a good character in your personality, inshallah. Okay, that's all for today. Take care.